Hello everyone, Abhishek here. Today we are going to talk about properties in SOAP UI tool. So what are properties? Properties are nothing but variables which we can define at different levels and we can use it across our tool for our testing or for uh, sending our request. So let's take a look at this. So I have a sample project uh, for this particular WSDL which is uh, performing basic operations, math operations, add, divide, multiply, subtract. In case you are new to this video and you have not followed the previous videos, you can use this particular WSDL. I'll put this link in the description section as well. Now, uh, so when does the condition of using properties arise into picture? Okay, so I already have a test case here. I'll just go to this. So I'll just take one sample example and obviously uh, it can be added as per uh, need anywhere. So let's say uh, here we have a requirement of adding two numbers. Okay, this particular request is actually adding two numbers. But let's say I do not want to manually input the number here. Uh, I can use properties for sending the numbers. Okay, now there are different places and different ways which we can define our properties. Okay, so let's do that first and when, then we'll come to this particular request. So let me just close this. Now the first way to define your uh, uh, property is to define it at global level. So for that you need to go to your preferences section. Okay, and here you'll be able to see this particular option called global properties. So you double click on this uh, and here you'll be able to see this particular plus icon. I'll click on this and I'll just write, uh, you can write whatever name you like, whatever variable name you want. I'll just write global number and uh, I'll write one here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll create a notepad and I'll just uh, start putting the exact numbers in the variables here so that we can understand that it is working fine. So first it at global level. And we have given the variable number as uh, name as global number and one. Okay. So this is how you can set your global variable. Now let me close this. And uh, the second place where you can set your variable is at project level. Okay. So you just go to your project, double click on this. And here, if you notice that in this below section, you'll be able to see this property section. Okay. You click on this properties and again, you'll be able to see this plus button. Okay. So I'll click on this. I'll just write project number and I'll write two here. Okay. And um, let me save this as well. So second one is at project level and this is my variable name and I've given the value as two. Okay. Now the third way to create a property is at test suite level. Okay. So I already have a test suite here. Let me just close this, go to my test suite and I double just double click on this and here in the bottom, you'll be able to see this option next to description properties. You click on this and your plus icon will appear here and I'm going to put the name as uh, test suite number okay and let me copy this and put a number three here now let me take a note of this at test test suite level and this is the variable name and this is the number which I have assigned to it okay now I'll just close this the another place where you can set your property is at test case level so you go to your test case you double click on this and here again you are able to see the section called properties and the moment you click on that this plus option get appeared okay so I'll click on test case number and uh, I'll copy this and we have given one, two, three. So I'm going to put four here. Okay, four. And uh, I'll just click outside of it and I'll close this. So this was at test case level. Now you can create a property at your test step level as well. So let me just write this down. So this is four. Now, in case of test step, if you'll double click, you won't be able to see properties. It will go to your test case. Okay. So in case of test step, how do we add the property? Let me just close this. You right click on your test step and you click on add step. 
here if you scroll down below you'll be able to see this option called properties and you click on this and this will add properties inside your test step okay once you add properties inside your test step then you'll be able to see this option called uh, plus option and then you can add your property accordingly so we are going to write here as test step number okay and i'll just copy this and i'll put this in my notepad and uh, this is going to be at test step level and my number would be 5 so i'll assign the number 5 okay i will just close this okay now uh, in order to validate that whatever properties we have given are we able to reference them and are we able to reference them correctly or not okay so we will go to our soap request and this is my soap request of adding two numbers okay so instead of sending the second number we are going to understand how to fetch the properties or the variables which we have created okay now the first variable which we have created is our global variable with the name called global number okay so let me just copy this so that i'm not uh, making any case sensitive errors and here the syntax goes in this way that it goes dollar and uh, curly brackets start and end and inside this it goes like hash and then whatever is your uh, so in case of global it will be like global and then hash whatever property name you have given so see i have given the name as global number the variable name uh, or the property name in case of soap ui and global as since we are referring the global variable so since we have mentioned one in global number our outcome should be five and one it should be six so let's send our request and see if it is working fine and here i'll click on xml and it is working fine so it is fetching the correct number so this is the syntax for fetching your uh, property from global site okay i'll put all this uh, syntax and everything in the description section as well to make it more easy for following now coming to the project uh, the second step the project at the project level okay so all i got to do here is change global to project so now if i change global to project it is going to refer the property set at project level so it is going to be project and then since we have given it as project number it is going to take project number variable name property name here now the number is 2 so ideally 5 and 2 our output should be 7 so let's send the request and see if it is working fine i'll click on xml here and yes we are able to fetch the property set at project level correctly okay so this is something for project level let me copy this and i'll keep it here now coming to test suite level again the same thing you uh, replace project to test suite tns caps and whatever the variable name whatever the property name you have set so here it is test suite number and it is three as we can see here i'll paste it here and now it is since it is 3 5 and 3 8 should be our output let's see the send the request and see in the output we are able to see the output as 8 okay so this is we have successfully fetched the value set at test suite level now the next one we are going to take a look at test case level okay so in case of test case level i'll just update this to test case and here I think our property number is test case number, name is test case number. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here in case of test case number. And the value which we have set it up here is 4. So 5 and 4, 9 should be displayed here. The moment I send this request, I'm able to see 9. So it is successfully fetching the property set at test case level. Okay. So all these things at global project test suite and test case level is fine. Uh, a tricky part comes in case of test step level. So as you would have noticed that if we have double clicked or we just went to that particular uh, section like in case of global project or all these levels and we got the option. 
to add the property. But in case of test step, it was not like that. We had to right click and we have to add this property section. Okay. So here how it works is we don't have to put the hash here. We can remove the hash and then whatever is the name. We are going to add properties only, but you can rename this as well. But since right now it is properties, I'm going to just put properties here. This should be matching with what you have set here. Okay. Now in case of test case number, whatever, whatever variable you have defined. So we have defined as test step number. So I'll just copy this and I'll put it here. And since 5 and 5, it is going to send us the response as 10. Okay. Let's send the request and see. So yes, we are able to successfully get the value as 10. So only in case of test step level, we have to not put hash in the syntax. We have to just put dollar and then we have to put the hash and then whatever is the property name. While in case of global level, project level, test suite level, test case level, we have to put hash in front of this as well. Now one interesting thing is here we can uh, rename this as well. So right click rename and then whatever you want. Uh, uh, let's write it as variable. I'll write it as variable and since this is already used, this is by default getting updated here. But in case uh, you have not used it and uh, first time you are uh, adding this and the name is not property or something else, you can put it accordingly without hash here. Uh, now these are the different ways you can set properties and you can refer it. Now you can use it accordingly in your project uh, however you want. And uh, at a later point of time, we are going to discuss more on properties as well. But this pretty much sums up uh, setting up properties and using it for your test cases or request or whichever place you want. Uh, thank you very much. Stay tuned for uh, the full tutorial of SOAP UI and if you have any feedback or any questions, let me know in the comment section. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.